Hello, so this is problem 1.2 from David Tong's lectures. So uh, basically just show that the um, Klein-Gordon Lagrangian is Lorentz invariant. Well, more specifically, it says that assuming that phi of x satisfies the Klein-Gordon equation. So if we have this, then show that when we do a Lorentz transformation on phi, uh, that this will also satisfy the Klein-Gordon equation. So when we do a Lorentz <laughs> transformation, our, our, so phi is just a scalar field, so it will transform like this. And then these d mu things will transform like these, respectively. So we just basically, you know, plug those in here. So our Lagrangian will go to this. And we just have, so we have an inverse lambda and a lambda. And they will multiply each other. So we just get a Kronecker delta nu sigma. And so I'll just make this nu a sigma. And so our Lagrangian will become this. And of course, if we vary, if we find the equations of motions for phi here, we will of course get, this is still the, the Klein-Gordon Lagrangian, so we'll just get the Klein-Gordon equation, and now our field phi of lambda inverse times x will satisfy the Klein-Gordon equation. So there you go.